Uh, hi everyone. In this video, I will show you, I will explain you how to use the unit conversion in the Cadesis environment. To do that, I have created an empty project. I have selected the structured text as the programming language, and I and I have declared some uh, variables here. I'm also in the simulation mode, so I can just log in, compile, and run the code. So the variables that I have declared are uh, temperatures, temp in Celsius 0, 01, temp uh, Fahrenheit 0, 01, temp Celsius 0, 02, and also distances in terms of kilometer and mile. So I have these six variables here, and now I want to have the conversion from uh, degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, and vice versa and I want to have conversion from kilometers to miles and vice versa. I want to have those kind of conversions in my project and use them whenever needed. So uh, to get started we need to right click on the application, select the add object and then pick the unit conversion from here. Pick a name for that and then add it to the project. Now I can start to add a new entry. I will call it mile to km because I want to have the conversion from mile to kilometers. So this is now the name of the, the unit conversion. I need to determine the type. So since one mile is 1.6093 km, I need to have only a scaling factor. If I select it, I then need to determine the factor. It's one point. It's zero nine three. That's all. So for now, I will keep the condition as true. There are uh, two other options. Maybe I will explain them later. But uh, to keep it simple, I will have the example like this. Another uh, conversion that I want to have is from Celsius to Fahrenheit so I will double click here to add new entry and I will call this new conversion rule C to F which is Celsius to Fahrenheit and in this case I need to have a factor and an offset because uh, to convert from degree Celsius I need to multiply it by 1.8 and add 32 to it so I will have it like this. Now I need to determine the factor, which is 1.8, and the offset, which is 32. And again, I keep the condition true, and uh, that's all that we need to do right now here. Now we can go back to our uh, main program. Here in the PSC underline PRG, I can start to type. So I will keep it again quite simple. I have some default value for temp C01. Therefore, I can write temp F01 should be set should uh, as the output of the unit conversion. I have called the unit conversion as C to F, so I can write C to F. Then, at this point, I need to put a dot and select the convert. In parentheses, I need to determine the temperature, temp C01. So this is the direct way of converting, but we have the option of using the inverse conversion. And I will use it here again, so I will call temp C02 be set as the C to F dot reverse. And as the input parameter, I will provide temp f01. And that's all. So with the first line here, the temperature in Celsius will be converted into the temperature in Fahrenheit. And in the second line, it will be the reverse direction. The Fahrenheit will be converted into Celsius. Uh, also for the distance, I have some default value for the distance in terms of miles, and here I have a mile to kilometer conversion. So therefore, I can start to type here, is 
am01 to be set as the output of mile to km convert and the input variable for the conversion is this mile 01. To do the reverse, I will set the value for this mile 02 as the output of the conversion mile to km dot reverse this time and the input variable this time will be this km01 okay so that that's all I think now I can just log in and uh, run it in order to show you how does it work in real time so let's do it login so there are no errors I can just run it and here you can see that so for the temperatures uh, the temperature in terms of uh, Celsius is 1 the resulting converted the temperature in terms of Fahrenheit is 33.8 and the reverse conversion resulted in almost one again. Here, distance in terms of mile is 10, which is converted into 16 kilometers and again converted back to 10 kilometers. I can change maybe this value to 10. Temperature. Then pressing F7 and Alt F7, we will have 50 Fahrenheit and 10 uh, Celsius again. And the value of the distance in terms of the mile can be changed as well. I will set 5, pressing F7 and Alt F7, I will use it. So it results in 8.04 kilometers and reversing conversion results in 5, confirming that our conversion is, is perfect. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. So I hope it, it will help you in order to be able to use the conversion property, the unit conversion property of the uh, codices. So you just need to keep in mind that you have to add this unit conversion through this add object. Then in the unit conversion, you need to determine, you need to add entries whenever needed. Here, for example, I have two conversions from mile to kilometer and from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but you may need more. So whatever you need, you can add here. Then for each one, you need to determine the type, whether it's a, it's an offset, it's a factor, it's a factor and offset, and so on and so forth. I may go into the details of the other one's data. And then you need to determine the uh, the parameters in it. So if it's uh, if it's only a factoring, then scaling, then you need to determine the factor. And condition is true, I will talk about it later again. And then in the main program, you need to use the name of the unit conversion. So here we have C2F and here we have mile to km. So you, you use the name, then put the dot and then select either convert for forward conversion or you can select reverse for the reverse conversion and then use you, you can use it just as a function block wherever needed provide the input variable and then get the output value as an output variable uh, okay so that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it and learned how to use the unit conversion in calysis thank you for watching and see you next time